Hi guys, for those of you who are looking to change your head gasket, it's really simple. I'm just going to show you the steps basically. I'm not still going to do a whole long talking video, whatever. I'm sure you guys just here to see that or check out the steps and how to do it if you're looking to do it yourself. It's a bit of labor because I know labor can be very pricey. So it's a city golf, pump in it, got the head gasket over there, pretty cheap. Uh, yeah. This car is throwing tandems all of a sudden. I think it's because I got the, the TOT in the background there. The golf is getting a bit chillest, but anyway, let's get into well, it. Firstly, we're going to start by removing off the, intake, the uh, air intake. I just the uh, screwdriver. Get that loose real quick. It's usually just a flat that we got over here. off and out of the way and we've got some fuel lines going to the fuel rail over here and you guys can see it over there just gotta make sure what you inlet and you'll return okay there's some, still some pressure in the fuel pipes here let's get it moved okay so we got them loose this one goes on the intake from the fuel filter on top and this is one that's the return then we got a, actually we got a, a 12, a 12 bolt, 12 nut on there, which is the tension, we just got to loosen that in order to get the belt off. Let's get the 12 off there. Okay, so there we go, that's loose, tension and shift, belt comes off. That simple people. And then you can just remove all the plug leads. If your leads are all the same size, you can just mark them, which is one, two, three, four. One starting on this side, four ending on that, so one, two, three, four. For me, my leads are all uh, in a specific length, so yeah. I don't have to mark them. Uh, we just gotta remove the alternator about there as well. Um, I think that's a 22. And the third thing, not mistaken, just to release the tension on you. That's the third thing, to release it. And this is a 22, I think it is. I don't have a 22, so I'm just going to use a shifter. Just to shift it back. Just got to shift it like that, or oh, actually shift it this way. And then it takes the tension off the alternator belt. And there we go. That belt's off as well. Then you gotta remove the water piping over here. This pipe needs to come off as well as this one over here. And this is the thermostat section here, yeah? if I'm not mistaken. So I remove this. That's also just a flat. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen the piping from the water pump, this one over there, just to drain out all the water the system so we don't mess with the water here by the electronics. So let me just get that done. Come on, there we go. Oh, the water's rusty as hell, anyways. That's probably why I blew it, gasket. So, once that all the water is drained out of the system, we can now remove those pipes there. Okay, so once you got these pipes off, they're all loose there now. We need to just loosen this thing, it looks like a 13, to remove the alternator off the bracket, not the 13, or the 13 actually. There we go. And there we are. So 
Now that's loose. Better put the audio parts on one side. I don't know if you guys can see the water hazing over here, but it's just on the side of the head there. Fingers like right there, that pipe there, you just gotta loosen that. that is, that's just a flat as well, just to loosen that pipe. Okay, so that one is off as well. I know this is a GP setting with all this piping that runs over the cages system, fuel runs around. And so on the newer cars, you'll see that the fuel, in, the fuel lines come right by the fuel rail. The crap one. Honestly, it looks about it. Or actually, no, there's another vacuum pipe that needs to come off here. And then you have the. The map sensor as well. And that's off, and just unplug the map sensor. It's that simple. And we just gotta get the. Throttle cable up, which is on the throttle body over there. There we go. I think that's about it for now. So that's all the things around the motor needs to come off. We are now going to open the tappet cover. So we can get to the head bolts and they just loosen that and then should be a foot away. Okay, so now we got the tappet cover off. We're going to loose. We're going to take off the earth that's on the tappet cover. Oh, there we are. Okay. Tappet cover comes off. So we're going to get the black cover back as well. And there we are. Now we're just going to get the branch off that's sitting at the back of the intake. It's going to be a problem. Okay guys, so the head bolts are actually a spline, a fine spline socket. So it's a, actually a 12 fine spline. I'm going to focus on there. So there you go. Okay, so now it's completely loose. You can lift it up. There we are. And that's basically all we need to do. So now you can get the LSL, put a new one in, send the headway for machining, and then you're good to go. That's about it. Uh, I'll add a photo of the, of the torque specs when you reassemble everything. Um, so I'll show you the torque specs of the head bolts. So the way that things came off, it basically goes back on that way. So that's how you disassemble your head in order to replace the head gasket. Aha! See? No gasket. So there's our problem people. Blowing gasket right there. So there was low compression on cylinder 2 and 3. But we've got a new replacement. So from what you do here is once you diagnose the issue, send your head away from machining just for them to scheme it and then put in the replacement head gasket and you should be sorted. If you guys found this video informative and you liked it, please like it, share it to your friends who are looking to do their own work in the cars and please do subscribe. Thanks. Blah.